If you like this video, please go ahead and consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. And please, by all means, share this video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today, we're going to take a look at Chadlington. But before that, this video is brought to you by Patrick Cornier and Schultz Modding. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Chadlington map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for PC players only. Now, this is a 4X map, and that is likely why it is a PC player exclusive. Let me read you some of the description. Welcome to Chadlington. This map is located in the middle of the south of England in the county of Oxfordshire. This map features typical British hilly terrain with layered stone walls, lots of greenery, and right-hand traffic. This is also the small town that is a setting for the Amazon Prime series Clarkson Farm. Perhaps some people will recognize familiar places. This map is a 4X map. It has 79 fields, including five grass meadows and five different forests. There are three open spaces for building, covered in grass, four prepared farms with different gameplay orientations, 11 cell points, gas station, BGA, livestock dealer, and a solar field. In addition, if you do tend to want to plant more trees, well, then you'll need the More Trees mod because we are currently up at the tree limit with respect to this map. There is one required mod with the Lamborghini R6250 tractor. Now, before we load into the map, I do want to preface this video by saying I've not watched a single minute of the Clarkson Farm show. So if there are things on this map that a watcher of the show would basically need to have seen the show in order to really understand the purpose of the area, then I likely am going to be completely missing the point. But that's okay. If you like the show, you might like the map because you might like the map because you like the show. If you've never seen the show, you might like the map or you might not. Let's load it. In addition to the required mod, we are going to use the mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. If you load this map up in farm, manager mode, or start from scratch, you will find the farms are built out exactly how you see them here in new farmer mode. The only starting machinery that you have in those alternate game modes is a pickup truck that is different than what we have here in new farmer mode. In addition, if you happen to load this system up with a low end system, well, you're going to find frame rates are going to be suffering a bit. So in my low end system gameplay, when I loaded this map up, I found I was suffering frames. In fact, I put up the frame rates right here because right now on my higher end system that is running a 4070 ti super we are suffering severe frame problems every time i load this map now this will eventually steady out to 60 frames per second pretty much wherever i look but this this has me quite concerned there now we've settled it out i have zero clue what is going on for that first 20 some seconds but the frames are abysmal and then they settle out. Now on my lowest system, the frames never settled out. If I was always looking in specific directions, the frames are always in the twenties. If I'd look other ways, I'd have a nice steady 60. So your performance, your experience on this map may greatly depend on the power of your GPU. Why on earth my system is acting like this every time I load this map, I have zero idea because I typically have no problems whatsoever from the first instant I load in the map. I have a solid 60 FPS. I typically don't need to cache textures or anything like that with the number of maps that I take a look at on a regular basis. I've got a pretty large texture cache already set up. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. Now, while this is a Forex map, it is not quite the full size of a forex map so we are cut down a little bit but this is larger than a standard map by quite a bit with respect to our crops we do not have cotton or sugarcane 
But what we do have, for some odd reason, is we have two entries for grass. So we have one entry for grass here, and we have a second entry for grass here on the second page. Now, if I select grass on the second page to highlight it, nothing comes up. If I highlight the first grass entry on the first page, well, we do have grass areas pop up. So I'm not really sure what's up with this second grass entry. It might be an errant entry and in a map update that might be taken out. Now, if you do have the premium expansion enabled, then you will also see your red beets, carrots, and parsnips. If we take a look at our farmland overview. We start off by owning farmland ID one. That is going to be field one. We also have farmland ID 71. That is the main starting farm. It is going to be an arable farm. Is this Clarkson's farm? I don't know. I don't watch the show. My guess is probably, maybe. Those who watch the show, you can comment. Is this Clarkson's farm on this map? There are three other farms on this map. They are going to be at farmland ID 76. And this is going to be a pig farm. It is going to be $520,000. At farmland ID 46, we have a horse farm for $380,000. And at farmland ID 72, we have a cow farm that is $374,000. In addition, we have a BGA, which is located north of farmland ID 57. And that is going to be owned when you actually purchase the biogas plant itself. As far as our starting farm, in any alternate game mode, you're going to have to have $516,000 to buy this particular farm. In addition to that, we have fields 1, 34, 9, 8, and 7 owned at the start. We're going to take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any field or fields, what is included, then lastly, how much is that farmland going to cost us? Now, if we take a look at our field calculator screen, we're going to see the specific sizes of each particular field. And with respect to the precision farming soil map, this map is making use of a custom soil map. So let's go ahead and, go ahead and see how that is being applied to these fields. As you can see, immediately around the starting farm, we have mostly loam and a little bit of sandy loam. Over to the west, we've got a big splotch of silty clay. And then throughout the center of the map and down towards the south, we've got a good bit of sandy loam. Now, with respect to our crop counter, we do have a standard crop counter available to us here on this map. And if we look at our prices screen, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our basing crops that are included on this map. In addition, we do have sell points for our eggs, willow milk, and our silage, hay, straw, and grass. As we can see now through the base game production items, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game production items as well. We do have the ability to buy bulk lime, and we also have the ability to sell stones. With respect to our farm production pack, we do not have the ability to sell any of the washed root crops. With respect to our platinum expansion, we do not have the ability to sell any of our platinum expansion production items, but we do have the ability to sell the premium expansion production items and crops. With respect to our separated manure, we do have the ability to get rid of our separated manure if we are playing with pumps and hoses. And if we are playing with straw harvest, the NSA straw place will also accept our hay and straw pellets. With respect to our starting fleet, we own all of our starting machinery. We do not have any leases. It all has fairly high operating hours, but it is all fairly well maintained. We do not have any animals at the start. We do have contracts available on this map, and we do not own any of the eight included production chains at the start either. With respect to collectibles, this map also does not have any. Let's take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the Gloss Axion 870 and the Lamborghini 250 VRT tractor. We have the Gloss Scorpion 1033 telehandler, as well as our 2017 pickup truck. We've got a Rudolph TDK 301 RP and DK8 
our DK280RL trailers. We have the Scorpio 550 Stone Picker, as well as the Echo Matt Plow, and the Olympkin Karat 12500 KUA Cultivator. We have the Pottinger Terrasem C6F Cedar. We have the Nova, or not the Nova. We have the Hardy Navigator 4000 Delta Force Herbicide and Liquid Fertilized Sprayer. And then for our telehandler, we have a Pallet Fork Universal Bucket and Bale Handler. As far as mods and DLCs, well, this map does not have any custom vehicles or implements, but we do have the Lamborghini required mod, so we can go here and purchase that if we wish. Now, before we jump over to our starting farm, our pickup truck is located here at the grocery store and right by our fuel area. We spawn in over at the dealership, which is located over here. And then our starting farm is nearly a complete 180 in the opposite direction. Overall, this map is subtle rolling hills. Not a lot of steep inclines with respect to our lay of the land, if you will. Here we have our starting farm. We have our farmhouse over here to the left. And inside here, we have both a sleep trigger and a wardrobe trigger. Now, a common theme that we are going to find scattered throughout this map is that while we can sell most of the things at the farms, the farmhouse is typically not sellable. But in this case, we can sell it here at the starting farm. For whatever reason, the only thing we can't sell here at the starting farm is our wardrobe trigger. All the other buildings here can be sold. We here have a few sheds with our machinery. And that is pretty much the starting farm here. I believe we have a silo actually inside of this shed with our dump and fill pipe. But other than that, it's basically just some sheds to store some machinery. Now we're going to make a quick light here to the south in order to get to the pig farm. And it's going to be a farmland ID 76. While we're coming down here, I do want to talk about our scoring a little bit. We're going to give the map a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside or such because we have eight productions pre-placed on this map a bakery a spinnery a tailor sawmill grain mill carpentry dairy and a biogas plant so here we have the pig farm and again that is going to be located here at farmland id 76 that is also going to include field 69 as far as what can we sell here? Well, we can sell all of these buildings. We can sell all of these light poles. What we can't sell are these solar panels. And for whatever reason, we can't sell the doghouse or this house, which is our farmhouse. Now, I've gone ahead and purchased this farmland, so our triggers are going to pop up. We have our sleep trigger. We have our wardrobe trigger. We've got a few sheds. We've got a slurry storage extension. We have our pigs, and we actually have 15 pigs in this pig pen already, with a total of 270 available. We have our food trough. We have our slurry output over here. This is pretty much a standard base game pig pen. We've got a little shed going on there, and that is pretty much this pig farm diagonal to the pig farm we have the horse farm farm three on this map that is going to be a farmland id 46 
here at this pig farm or horse farm we do have a workshop trigger we have bale storage for 250 bales or pallets we have some machine sheds we do have a farm silo with our dump and fill point we have our sleep trigger at the front door and our wardrobe trigger at the garage we have a hay dryer so we have our dump and output pipe for a hay dryer and then we have our horses and we actually start out with four horses and this pen can store a total of eight now this is a base game horse area so we do have our food trough inside And that is the horse farm. Now, if we take this road and follow it to its end, we're going to basically be right towards our cow farm. So our cow farm is going to be at farmland ID 72. Back to our scoring. With respect to this map, including all of our base game props, cell points for animal outputs and productions we're going to give the map a full point while this map is excluding cotton and sugarcane we can sell everything else that is on this map we can produce anything that is base game as well and we have things to sell with respect to our animal outputs once again we have our wardrobe trigger at the garage we have our sleep trigger here at the door we do have a dog house once again dog house is not sellable we have a cow barn so we have our slurry point we have our food and straw trigger inside of here we're gonna have our milk point and our cow delivery point we have 10 of 75 cows in this pen we have a single silo so we're gonna need to use an auger to fill this meridian grain build and then we have a couple storage sheds and a couple silage bunkers. And that is the cow farm. So I want to circle back over here to our starting farm to give us a frame of reference for our fly around of the entire map. So here we are back to our starting farm location. And we're just going to go ahead and make our way to the north. Up here is where we're going to find our animal dealer, as well as our NSA straw cell point. So we have the straw cell point located right here. And then we have the NSA, which I think stands for National Sheep Association, or something like that, if I remember looking at the PDA. But here we have our animal dealer. We make our way towards the east. From this particular location, we're going to find our sawmill. This is a standard base game sawmill. So we have our fill point for our wood chips. We have our interactive icon. We have our dump point for our wood. We have our wood cell trigger. And we have our plank spawn point. Circling around through the north of the map, we're going to come over here to our biogas plant. It's going to be just on the other side of these trees, just north of field 57. Now, if you do buy the BGA, you could try to sell it, but it doesn't actually go away. You will get your money. You'll get half of your money back if you sell the BGA. But for whatever reason, the structures remain. So just a little word of caution there. If you're going to buy the BGA in order to change it around, well, I just want to set expectations straight. Here we have a farmer's market cell point. And we have the cute farm shop, which is also going to be another cell point. That is located right there. Seeing our making our way around the western side of the map, we do have a fairly large forest over here, just north of field 30. 
we're making our way over to where the cow farm is. And this is where we're going to find our stone crusher as well as our lime fill point and something else which I'm going to need hopefully your help in figuring out. Right here we have the stone crusher. We have our lime fill silo. And then we have this. And I really don't know what in the heck this is supposed to be. But I can tell you what it actually is. It's a patchwork of all of the various fill types that are on this map. And if you bring something over here with a bucket, well, you may pick up grass. Another time you may pick up red beets. Another time you may pick up seed. Another time you may pick up sunflowers, stones, whatever. I honestly don't know what this is. Other than maybe a giant mistake. And I would love to know if this has anything to do with the Clarkson Farm series because I have zero idea what this might have to do with respect to farming simulator or maps in general now, as we continue to make our way around towards the town this is where we're going to find most of the rest of the triggers on this map i want to talk about the main farms and the other farms being customizable i debated a bit as to what score i thought we should give and I think I'm just going to go ahead and give a full point with respect to the farms being customizable because the things we can't sell really aren't in our way. They're somewhat out of the way and therefore aren't all that restrictive to our ability to change things around on this map with respect to the farms themselves. So we're going to go ahead and well, give the map a full point there. Here we have our tailor. This is just a standard oops, base game tailor. So we have our wardrobe trigger. We have our dump point. We have our interactive trigger. And around the back, we're going to find our spawn point for our clothing pallets. More into town. We're going to find our bakery located right here. Again, fairly standard FS. 22 base game bakery we have our vehicle shop where we have our trigger to buy our vehicles let's go ahead and see where things spawn and then we have our maintenance trigger our dealer trigger located right there with the markers indicating We've got a modest size here for our vehicles to spawn. It's not overly small. It's also not overly large. But overall, we probably have fairly medium-sized fields on this map. Now, if we continue to make our way over here to the east, we have our carpentry, which is located right here. Fairly standard base game carpentry. We have our interactive icon. Dump point for a wood, wood cell trigger, and pallet spawn point. We have our dairy. So we have our interactive icon. Dump point and pallet spawn point. And then we need to make our way over to our grain mill. But on the way, we do have a pizzeria cell point which is located right here. And then the starting farm is located right there. And the grain mill is basically about as center to the map as one could get it. Now with respect to buildings where buildings are appropriately using the new texturing technique as well as ground textures. We're gonna give the map a full point there. So we have our dump point here. We have our interactive icon, and we have our pallet spawn point. 
with respect to build mode, there really aren't any custom buildings, productions, animals, or deco elements on this map. When we take a look at our ground textures, we've got fairly standard FS22 ground textures available to us, as well as standard plants and trees. So the last scoring metric is going to be triggering interactive areas being clearly marked. As I think about this map, I really can't come across any areas that I feel aren't clearly marked. So that would give this map a full point there as well, which honestly would give this map a score of 5 out of 5. I feel a little bit of regret in giving this map a score out of 5 out of 5 because I think it has some minor issues associated with it, but none of those issues really pertain to our specific scoring metric. And while some may identify that as being, well, there, there, that means there's a fault with your scoring system. Not necessarily. It just means how this map is scored scores well it's a good performer with respect to taking tests is it a good performer out in real life maybe not so much that's where i'd like to hear your all's thoughts let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to this map am i missing something by not being a watcher of the clarkson farm series if i watched the clarkson farm series and enjoyed the farm series would I have a different outlook on this map as a result of framing it with respect to that series? I don't know. I'd love to know what you all think, especially those of you that do watch the Clarkson Farm series. How much of this map can you directly associate with that show? And do you feel you feel any different as a result of having watched that show with respect to this map? And until next time, Happy farming.